Welcome to Redbeard and the Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals. Wishing you and yours a happy holidays. We're on the, uh, the home stretch to Christmas and the bear thought he'd lend a hand with that most difficult of chores every holiday season. And that is figuring what to buy for dear old dad. Yep, shopping for the men in the family <laughs> can be quite a chore. And even the bear here has, has an issue when the, the wife and cubs come to me and go, Daddy, Daddy, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, uh, you know, I don't know, any, anything will do. But don't say that. Don't, don't do that because you're going to end up with a tie with a moose dancing in a tutu on it or something. You got to be careful. So the bear here... You know what I've done? I put together a list of the top 10 items for dad. We got some shop related items, some fun items, some kind of dressy snazzy items. You know, in fact, I even reached out to some of my uh, my favorite companies out there and they were nice enough to uh, send us some samples here for you guys to peruse. And now you can just, you know, when the, when the wife and cubs come and pester you about what you want for Christmas, you can just you know, send them a link to this uh, to this video and be assured that at the very least you're going to get something you won't be embarrassed to wear in public. Oh, okay. I, I can't guarantee that, but we're going to try. We're going to try. So let's jump into it. All right. So I nabbed uh, Santa's travel bag. Let's take a look at what he has in it. All right. First item is automatic. Automatic here is is simply amazing. Now we've talked about stuff like this before, but never quite like this. It's small but powerful. That is the automatic GPS car tracker in a box. Plugs into your ODB2 port under your dash. Get help in a car crash, track your car, avoid breakdowns, customize your ride. The Automatic Pro 3G car adapter, crash alert, real-time location with driving apps. To be honest, that description really doesn't do this thing justice. It does so much more. This is the Pro version, so it does trip logging, business tagging, business expense apps, engine light diagnostics, Philip logging, iPhone and Android compatible. It's got an online web dashboard, which is what we're looking at here. We had this hooked up our RV so I could see everywhere we went and how much gas was used and everything, uh, how fast, every, all the kind of stuff that, you know, any kind of car geek would want to know. As you can see, we put some miles on it over the past couple years. And uh, it's got unlimited, with the Pro version, unlimited 3G syncing. That means anywhere it, there's cell service, it automatically connects. So, you know, if you want to put this in your car and loan it to Junior, he's <laughs> you're going to know everywhere he went, how fast he went with it, that sort of stuff. There's crash alert, parking tracking. That means if, you know, you come out of the mall around Christmas, can't remember where you parked your car. Um uh, event based so you can set up with using uh, IFTTT that's if this then that that's a whole nother uh, video I need to do on that thing there's a ton of uh, other streaming apps and other things you can use there's a less expensive version called the Unmac Lite that has most of those capabilities next on the list the Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide to making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. Written by none other than the legend himself, Jeff King. This book will show you all the ins and outs for making uh, all your favorite recipes and uh, still configurations and stuff like that. Get it now. Remember, links are in the description. Let's see what else we can dig out of Santa's bag. Next, we got the Bev Buckle. What's the Bev Buckle, you say? Well, they've got several different designs. This is one of them, Rub for Luck. It'll go on any standard belt where you can you know, change the buckle on it. And with a quick flip, it's party time. Put your drink in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> of course, this is a uh, an energy drink because we're trying to keep it family friendly here. Don't want to get a uh, the YouTube uh, Lords Above down on us. 
I can think of a lot of occasions where that could be a lot of fun or get me in a lot of trouble. Either way, <laughs> something's gonna happen. Next on the list, you know we gotta have some tools. This isn't your average tool. Yeah, it's a glue gun. Now I know you're saying, but Bear, why do I need a glue gun? Trust me, I, you know, glue guns are one of the things that are under, underrated in a shop. And, and I've got a plethora of them. You know, I've got, I got the little bitty one, the, the cheap one for getting into little tight spaces and stuff. And I, I got this average one. I just picked this one up because I needed something at the time. And honestly, it doesn't seem much more. This, you notice what this one's missing? Did you? Did it kind of jump out at you when it's missing? This is a cordless glue gun. All right. Let me, let me throw Santa's bag over here to the side. It comes with this nice little case, has a cord. Here's the cool thing with the cord. Cord plugs in there. This plugs into that. If you run your charge out on this, you can just plug it into the cord direct and, and start working right away. But otherwise, you just sit it on your base like that. You get any drips or drabs here, any drips or drabs, you know that's always an issue with uh, your glue guns. And it comes down on this nice little silicon pad and just peels right up. On that, you just take it, load your glue stick in, and you're ready to go. One of the tips, pro tip here from the bear, this stuff is non-conductive. This makes a great insulator for doing some little custom quick little wiring jobbies. I love doing that. Maybe if you see my LED light one, I talked about that some. But that is a great tool and the price on it cannot be beat. Uh, of course, you know, little dollar store glue guns, hard, hard to beat that too. Every man's favorite tool, as we all know, is fire. And so what dad doesn't like to be out controlling the barbecue, cooking up some food for the family over a nice charcoal grill. Well, enter the uh, the barbecue dragon here. And again, we've got a, a twofer here. The first part is the heat deflecting smoking stone. Uh, these are all for 22 inch uh, Weber style grills. And this allows you to turn your barbecue into a convection oven. The second part is the spinning grate. Uh, this sits uh, over, this. in my case, I have it set over the uh, the stone. And this allows you to rotate the grate. It's great for, any, if you ever cook charcoal, you always know you get hot spots and stuff. And rather than just trying to move stuff on and off the grill and maybe dropping things, this just allows you to simply rotate it away from the hot spot on the grill. Now, I'd always wanted to try these because essentially they turn it into a Neapolitan style pizza cooker. And so the first thing I did was throw a pizza on it. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. It cooked it as fast or faster than I could do it in my regular oven. And it turned out fine. I was, I was worried it might be a little too charcoaly or something, and it actually had a really good flavor to it. Let me go through Santa's bag some more. Let's see what else he's got in here. We've got a twofer from Micus, 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 Micus. The SR71 Stealth headphones and the Home RTX20. What these are. This allows you to create a long range wireless Bluetooth receiver for your home stereo audio or anything that's pushing audio. You can run this through to any Bluetooth device. And of course, <laughs> we have the matching Bluetooth device to go with it. If you're in a house like mine, where you got the cubs running around all the time, trying to listen to your favorite YouTuber on the TV, can be a challenge in and of itself. But you just set this little puppy up and you'll never get interrupted again. All right, so that, that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of a, a tall tale. Oh, my, my cubs always find a way to interrupt me. But it'll be less of an issue. Let's see what comes in the box, shall we? Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's a little, it's a little puppy here. Pop it open. Nice and unobtrusive. Ooh, that's sleek looking. Look at that. We've got a three mil, uh, 
3.5 millimeter jack out, 3.5 millimeter jack, if I could talk. 3.5 millimeter jack out, 3.5 millimeter in, optical in, optical out, so you run a bypass. There's your, your uh, USB for power, and this is, I'm guessing, your antenna hookup for nice antenna. There's your power button right there. You got your control on the front. That's a nice little, it's a nice little box. It's way better quality than I was expecting. And it comes with, da, 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 and of course the manual. This one you might want to read the manual on. All right, so look at this. It comes with optical cables. That's really nice. And let's see here, what else we got? Oh, there's your power adapter. Galloway. Mox is jealous that he's trying to get in on the action. This is going to be a cable. There's our antenna. Our antennae. Yeah, that's nice. Look at that. There we go. I'm, I'm going to have to hide this from the missus. She's going to want to snag this thing. There's our, our USB power. Uh, some RCA jacks and our audio jacks. Now, of course, as I said, this is a two-parter because you're going to need to, once you get all this, you got to hook it up to something, right? Well, that's when they supply their suggested headphones here. Let's break into this box. I know, I'm all neat and stuff. I, my wife gives me crap for saying I Wolverine everything, but that's not true. It's only part of the time. Oh, look at this. Yeah, baby. Go over there, you're over there. Not that I'm planning to travel with them a bunch, but it's a nifty little case. Always like a nice case, you know. I don't know what it is. Even though I'll never use it, it's just well, that's interesting. So the little wires here comes a little Velcro pouch so you can move around. Remember, these don't taste good. Unless with a little sriracha. A little sriracha really brings us to life. And pop these off. Oh wow, look at that. I love, you know, you don't see this style of headphone that often anymore. The, the one where it goes over your ear and you actually, you know, blocks everything out so you can actually hear what you're listening to. Um, decent, a little, not quite as robust as I might like, but still pretty decent. There's your volume buttons, your power button. Uh, audio jack, I guess, so if you want to listen to something directly, you're not going to use the Bluetooth. Uh, there's your Bluetooth charging, so you're not going to be eating through all the batteries on this thing. And we got your cables here. There's your audio, audio jack and, uh, and your USB. Again, you know... USB is for charging the audio jacks. If you want to plug in directly, you don't have to. You might want to from time to time. Maybe the device you're going to listen to doesn't have Bluetooth. You can still use your headphones. These are nice. Smooth. You know, it's kind of like this. I was really surprised by the sateen kind of finish on it. We'll give those a try here in just a minute. And we see how long it lasted until somebody stole them. What else did Santa bring us? Is there more? You know, Dad's always been a Superman for the family. We'll finally give him those Superman powers with the Wallabot DIY wall scanner. <laughs> oh, I've been wanting to try one of these out for so long, you have no idea. This is, if you don't know what this is, if you haven't seen, they've been, they've been all over. You see these things everywhere these days. Uh, or at least people talking about them. This is, you remember the old uh, stud finder had a little magnet that would try to find like the nail in the stud or whatever. And they got the new electronic ones that kind of beep and are kind of vague and stuff. <laughs> this gets rid of all of that. This gives your, uh, your phone x-ray powers to see literally what is behind the wall. Oh, wow. I'm not sure if this was a Kickstarter or not. This is pretty cool though. Seems, I'm just guessing because it seems like one of those Kickstarter kind of ideas. Come on. 
Give it up. This is definitely one you're gonna you're gonna want to read those instructions on. Not that I'm going to, but <laughs> I'm gonna recommend that you should. All right. Okay, I'm guessing that probably goes on the back of this, or is this the thing? This is the thing probably goes on the back to help you with your phone. So this is the scanner. This is the part here. I'm guessing. I think that actually scans the wall um, and then that plugs in via this cable here to your phone. They've got a couple of them. We got a micro USB to micro USB and a micro USB to a USB-C. So we got a couple different phones covered there with that. This is, we're gonna jump into this again, have some fun with that. Okay, I literally had to wrestle this away from the Cubs. And then Mrs. Bear <laughs> thought it was so cool, she had to give it a try. This thing will work with drywall, it'll work with concrete. And as you can see there, it actually shows you not just that there's something there, like there, it's seen a stud. We go back, you can see there's a stud right there. And then as we go past, you can see there's the wire that's going up there to the thermostat. <laughs> it's, it's like voodoo magic. You will end up playing with this thing all day long when you get one of these. It is incredible. The, uh, the ability to see what is actually going on behind your wall. It even has a motion sensor uh, mode so you can find like vermin and stuff, you know, in your, your crawl spaces and whatnot. You're going to have a lot of fun with this thing. And next on the list for Santa, the Alexa. What? Oh, be quiet. <laughs> so I know a lot of you guys, you, you don't like these things. You mistrust them. They're always listening to me. They're always listening to me. I got, I got some bad news for you. No, nobody, nobody cares what you, what's going on. They're not listening to you. Yeah, they may be listening for marketing and all that stuff, but the reality is, I mean, if you care about that, if you're that worried that, you know, the Illuminati is coming for you, that, that's your choice. I use them, I use this one. This is the one in my shop. I use this almost every day out here. You know, I'm horrible about, you know, remembering uh, conversions and stuff. Uh, how many centimeters in a foot? One foot equals 30.48 centimeters. Oh, wow, look at that. How many grams in a ton? One imperial long ton equals 1,016,000 grams. Okay, so, so that's a, a bit much. But I use it for that stuff all the time. How about this? Set a timer for five minutes as I'm waiting for glue to dry or something. What's the weather tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Las Vegas. Look for lots of sun with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. And I can tell her to add stuff to my shopping list so when I get to the hardware store, I don't have to forget. I don't have to worry that I forgot it or forgot my list. Another fun thing, so this is the little dot one. And I use this one because it doesn't have the big speaker. It's just got a basic speaker built into it. It's not the loudest thing out there. But what it does have is it's got this little port. And what that is, of course, is an audio jack. So I can take standard audio input, go straight into that, and go straight in to a speaker, or I use like a Sony boombox that I've got, that I've had for years. And I listen to music. I listen to my audiobooks from Audible. This is one of those, this, trust me, this is one of those shop tools that you think you don't need and that you would never use, and you find yourself using it every single day. From our friends at Riker, they've sent us their new oscillating saw blades for wood and metal. This is their whole new uh, companion set. Uh, you've got uh, the straight edge, the bimetal, the, the wedge. Of course, this works with every single one of these. I mean, almost pretty much every, I won't say every, but pretty much every uh, uh, multi-tool that's gonna be out there. And uh, just unlock that little there, open that up, and there are your blades. There's my favorite. Wooden metal, 
wooden plastic, wooden plastic, wooden plastic. So, uh, you know, they're great for plunge cutting, cutting into drywall, cutting in wood. Uh, you can cut copper, aluminum, uh, light steel with this. There's, and then, you know, the, and, the, and the plunge cutting, that's really where they come into to, uh, their, their own. It's like you're cutting out a, a, a box for an outlet or something. Just, man, it's a hot knife through butter, uh, through the drywall and stuff. I've used these with plywood. I've used them with hardwood. I, I see I did a demo. I used them on copper pipe and, and galvanized steel pipe. There, there's not much these things won't go through. Again, that's, that's from our friends over at Riker. They, they've sent us this stuff before. So as we know, this is, these are good quality. I've sent some out to some of you guys. Uh, if you got a set, feel free to chime in, let everyone know what you thought of them. We got one last item, and this is the one I'm really excited about, and that is Santa's bag. Santa's bag here is actually by a company called Red Ox, made in Montana. They're based in Billings, Montana. And for those of you who follow the channel, you know, uh, that the family here, the, the Bears, we got a strong connection to uh, Montana. We got a house up in Livingston. My wife grew up there and we tried to spend as much time every summer up there. Wish we could spend more time, uh, but they have that, um, what do they call that thing up there? Winter. They winter up there and, and growing up in the Midwest, I, grew, I became allergic to winter. So uh, I'll let my brother Blue deal with that. I, I don't I don't deal with winter anymore. Anyway, I've loved these bags. I should say for, oh, God, it feels like 20 years. It's been a long time since I found out about them. I, I used to say when I lived uh, in California, a long time ago, <laughs> uh, I, I had a sailboat and I really got to know the, uh, the issues with salt water and stuff. And in looking, doing some research for some uh, bags for it, I ran across these guys because the material they use, and I'm not saying this is a great sailing bag, I'm not saying it's not, but all the hardware, all the stainless steel you see on here, this is a whole uh, sailing grade, marine grade uh, stainless steel. This stuff, you just can't understand the heft on that. Look at that, it would normally be a, a D-ring, just a basic D-ring you'd see on any other bag with this kind of shackle. This thing is, it's immense the way everything is overbuilt. They got the little, uh, what do they call it, monkey's fist on, on all the, the zipper pulls. Uh, of course, all the zippers are YKK, and it is, this thing is just a beast. We got a padded bottom down there. Uh, everything is, is, is super stitched on. These, uh, these pockets here, these just cannot rip these things apart. They're just in, insane. And the reason being, I mean, look at this. Look at this shoulder strap. Look at how thick the rubber is on that strap. This is not something you see on, on any bag. Heck, even, <laughs> even the luggage uh, ID bag is a thicker and stronger uh, plastic or rubber than you see on, on anything else. But the point is, with Red Ox, the, the guy who started the company, and correct me if I'm wrong, but he was a jump master and he started using all the materials he, he learned about uh, in parachuting. And so it's all got it's all got over, you know, it's all overbuilt in the way that, you know, somebody who's jumping out of a plane and needs things to be overbuilt. So uh, they use real paracord, parachute kind of material, the zippers, everything else. Comes with a nice little dog tag identifying your product. Uh, this is the Sun Chaser model, uh, was a PR1 uh, from Red Ox. This is, I cannot overstate how much I, I love their equipment. This is like on this side, so, you know, you got that, uh, that flight bag or your luggage, the wheeled luggage, and you always like try to get the handles to go over it to keep it on there. With this, you zip that open, whoops. You zip that open, and you've got a straight pass-through now, and that can go over that handle there, and you can attach one piece of luggage to another. This is, or, of course, you know, you leave one side zip, and you've got a, you know, another pocket on the other side. This kind of thing, these were made, as they called them, their adventure bags. And, and these were just, these were adventure bags. And these are the kind of guys like, you're going down to go traipsing through South America for three months or across the Serengeti. And this is the kind of gear you're gonna to wanna to take with you. There's just, there's nothing else that's built to this level. We got some stocking stuffers here. 
Oh yeah, look at this. Lock and lube. <laughs> So if you got a dad in your life who likes to, you know, get into the automotive stuff, Lock and Lube is a solution for one of those things that, uh, as they say, ends greasing's frustration. If you've got a you know, vehicle or uh, something mechanical that you got to lube up from time to time, and you know you got to sit there and you got to hold that on that the little uh, nub there. With the Lock and Lube, what it does is let's see if there's a, a diagram here. With the Lock and Lube here, what it does is it clamps on. So you just put that on there. It's almost like uh, like you do with an air hose. Uh, if you've got one of the locking air hoses where you can just look at it. And that way you've got both hands on the grease gun itself. And and also they come with a, uh, a free spare seal kit also with it. And you've got the extended reach and you've got their, their shorter regular lock and lube. And they sell other stuff too. They've got, let's see here, gun grease gun. <laughs> There's your regular grease guns. All sorts of hose connectors. Anyway, as you can see, we got a few extra here. So I'm going to be sending those out to some people to help them get a, get Christmas started a bit early. Also, same with the Riker. I got a, a couple of the Rikers. So make sure to post below if you want to, you want to get some of this stuff. We'll see what we, what all we can send out to y'all. Wild's force of nature. This is when you want to give dad something extra special. It's an adorable pillow. And it comes with this gorgeous watch. Let me peel that back. This is, this is something else. If I can get it open here. There we go. Wild's Forces of Nature. This is an actual wood watch. Helps if I turn it up the right way. Look, with, with actual Roman numerals, your kids won't have a clue on how to read it. <laughs> this is a, a beautiful, I mean, the wood on this, you just, I, I don't know if that comes through on the camera, the grain on that, this is beautiful stuff. This is the kind of thing you save for date night with Mrs. Bear. And one thing I gotta tell you is I'm stunned this actually fits me. Um, when I was a, a, a cub, uh, well, a teenage cub, I, uh, I broke this wrist pretty badly and I've got this huge uh, bone spur right there because of it. And honestly, I can't wear most watches and this one actually fits. And I'm a pretty big guy, so if it fits me, it should probably fit you. And that's, you know, Right out of the box. Gotta like that. And it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a discount watch, but it's not a Rolex either. And this is the kind of thing that you can get for your dad to show that, you know, you really care about him. And uh, it's kind of thing that you'll hold on to for a long time. I, I really like this. You didn't think the bear was done, did you? I got one more stocking stuffer for you. Sauna. <laughs> I pronounce it Sun Off Basic. This is quite the little toy here. If I can get it out. What this does is you've got power in, power out on both sides. And this allows you via Wi Fi to act as a switch for any powered device. Anything that plugs into a wall or anything that has power going through it. And all you do is get yourself a little flathead screwdriver in there, you loosen it up, you run your cables in, you run your cables out. I took a lamp, snipped the power cord, put it in there, screwed those down. That goes on that side. That goes on that side. You got some screws here that go into it. As you see, you got a little, got a little teeth there to hold the, the cord. And then you, uh, you just find it on your Wi-Fi and you attach it via Wi-Fi. And the next thing you know, you can connect to it via your Wi-Fi. Now that means you can use your, your cell phone, your tablet, your computer, or if you're smart and you use Alexa, not talking to you, go away. <laughs> Now you got voice control on pretty much anything in your house. I've done all sorts of little fun projects with these things. I'll, I'll keep dad busy for hours. 
Well, there you have it. I hope there was at least one or two items there on the list that you thought would uh, be okay to find under the Christmas tree come Christmas morning. Anyway, I know it, it may seem a little bit early. We're, we're jumping here in front of Turkey Day and all that. But, you know, <laughs> if you're like me and you wait until the last minute, oh, it, it can get grisly trying to do that holiday shopping. So don't put that off on your family. Help them out or find that thing for, for dear old dad or grandpa in this list. And I hope you and yours have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Take care. And as always, from the Bear family to yours, shine on. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to help support the channel, the easiest way is our 123 method. First, chomp that like button, give us a thumbs up, spread the word with a share, and subscribe and ring the bell. Remember, if you don't ring the bell, YouTube doesn't really believe that you want to watch the videos. But maybe you'd like to take it a step further. Maybe you want to go over to Patreon and consider subscribing to the channel. For only a dollar a month, you can become a Black Bear member and help support the Den of Tools. Also, YouTube now allows us to sell merch directly on each video. Yeah, if you scroll down below the video, right where you see the description, right below that, you should start seeing a little pop-up window that shows you some of the Den of Tools merch. Or pick up a copy of the Home Distiller's Workbook, your guide to making moonshine, whiskey, vodka, rum, and so much more. And we still have the DeBear shirts available. Links to those items, as always, are in the description below.